our next topic is banking banking is a very vast topic but only limited aspects of banking are included in your syllabus we have only two aspects to study money creation by the commercial banks and functions of central bank before we take up these aspects let us very briefly touch upon the structure of banking system in any country of the world i hope you know what is a bank a bank is one which accepts deposits from the people and also creates deposits itself how does it do it that we will see a little later normally in every country there are two types of bank remember not two banks two types of banks one is called the central bank central bank the other type is called commercial banks the basic difference is central bank does not deal with the public while commercial banks do then what is the function of the central bank central bank is supervisor of commercial banks commercial banks ka supervisor hai frame rules and regulations for the functioning of commercial banks keeps a watch on their functioning makes changes from time to time this central bank does in the interest of depositors public without going into the detailed functions of commercial banks the detailed functions are not a part of your syllabus only one function is a part of your syllabus let us straight away move to the one function which we have to study of commercial banks money creation by commercial banks why do we call it money creation commercial banks do not print money wo rupya chhapte nahi hai then how do they create money they create money by creating demand deposits and you have studied in the concept of money supply that demand deposits are a part of money supply it is in this sense 
that commercial banks create money. We can also call it creation of deposits, deposit creation. How do commercial banks create deposits? They create deposits by giving loans or you can say credit. By giving loans, by giving credit, they create demand deposits and demand deposits is a part of money supply. So we got an alternative name for money creation. Money creation is the specified topic. Demand deposits is another name, deposit creation. We can also call it credit creation. Normally in books on macroeconomics, you will find that credit creation is used more frequently than money creation. The implication is clear. In the examination, if there is a question on money creation by commercial banks, deposit creation or credit creation, answer is the same. Because these are simply three alternative names of money. Keeping this thing in mind, let us see how do commercial banks create deposits. Let us go step by steps. Commercial banks accept deposits. Logon se paisa swikar karte hain, jama karte hain. Give interest on these deposits is par wo byaj bhi dete hain saath saath they also give give instant withdrawal facility Whenever the depositor wants money back, it can go to the bank and get the money. We have seen three things. What do the banks do with these deposits? They lend money. Udhar dete. जो डिपॉजिट्स में मनी आता है उसको उधार देते हैं और उससे इंटरेस्ट कमाते हैं अर्न इंटरेस्ट उससे ब्याज कमाते हैं इस ब्याज की जो कमाई करते हैं व्हाट एवर दे अर्न बाय वे ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दे यूज इट फॉर मेकिंग इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स ऑन डिपॉजिट्स and meeting their expenses. After that, whatever is left is their profit. But let us note one thing. Don't you think these two things of the banks clash with each other? Ye dono jo kaam hai unke, dono ek dusre se clash karte hai. They are prepared to give depositors back their money whenever they want. At the same time, they give this money on loan. They give this money on credit. So if 
they keep the entire money with them how will they give loans now this clash is removed by a practice the practice is do not keep the entire money in cash available to the banks keep only a portion why because the experience has shown that not all depositors come at the same time to 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 withdraw their money 